In this morning's Quick Bites, our TV maitre d' visits a Cumberland restaurant where he says the enthusiasm of the owners is a major ingredient in the recipe for success. Here's Josito with more. Simply put, it's a great Northern Rhode Island restaurant you're going to love. Welcome to Andrew's Bistro. In February of 2010, when Carl Amaral and Chris Lopes took ownership of this Cumberland restaurant, their decision was to keep the name, but add some personal touches to improve its game. Call it a delicious attitude adjustment that has definitely taken hold here. There's not a day that goes by that Chris and I don't close these doors and can't wait to start it over the next day. Also, the thing that I'm, I, I'm very, very proud of is the fact that this restaurant does not belong to us. It belongs to our guests. For, for without them, I can't open these doors at all. With this business, it, it, it has to be taken as every day as a party, and that's exactly what it is to us. You can't think of it as work. How many people out there have a job that they look forward going to each and every day? Well, that's Chris and I. He readily applauds the entire staff for sharing this philosophy. And there's high praise for executive chef Scott Frechette, whose delicious daily menu for lunch and dinner is creative bistro fare at its best. There is no such thing as competition. Either you have a great product or you don't. The guests will tell you that, and you'll notice that by the people who come through that door. If you don't have people coming through that door, then maybe you've got to think about your product. Oh, yeah, and there's one other thing here at Andrew's Bistro. Though I can't say you'll get dinner here for a song, you just may get it with one. See, Carl is an accomplished, retired opera singer. Though I'm not so sure about the retired part. Yo sole, yo sole mio, stein fronti a te, stein a fronti a te. Ha, ha, ha.